Good morning, YouTube friends. It's Smaller Mauler, and we are continuing with our Lotaro playthrough. The Mapuche had a good episode last one. We managed to take the Scythian capital, and we did some good things in terms of putting loyalty pressure on what's left of Scythia. I think she'll be gone in five turns. We've also got a Cree city that we were fighting hard for all game. It's finally going to fall to us from loyalty as well. It was handy for us that uh, Scythia and Cree were both in Dark Ages. We managed to get some loyalty flip. We took her capital by force, so I'm proud of that. So we've got a bunch of units all ready to form their armies when we end up with mobilization in about eight turns. We're three turns away from finding coal. We've got the engineers ready to make our railways if we find coal. I have a history of getting skunked on strategics, but um, this time will be different. We've got minimum of 19 turns left on this era. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, fight someone in a golden age. That is something that we haven't been able to take advantage of this game very well. We've been doing the Mapuche things with our three captured cities with governors. Having governors in these cities, being that they're captured, and being that we have PASA, these things are doing pretty well. 50% from modifiers on production, 15% on modifiers from gold, 15 for culture, but that production bonus is pretty nice. So why don't we start playing? We'll put the spy there. Hopefully the golden age lasts. So I think we're going to work on the university here. Science is still important to us. We're going to finally get this dam built. We've got the luxury of time now. Let's see if we can get them up to tan quickly. We'll work on our university after we finish this field cannon. Got expert crew on both of them, so that's going to be handy. Their walls are pretty strong. Don't know if they have steel yet. going to switch Nagulu Mapu from a uh, faith industry to a civilian units industry, and we're going to use a Liang city to pump out the builders. I'm going to take this city when it flips so I have another source of niter. So I'll just get in position to take that city. I'm going to heal you up in the city and make some room for my bombard.
They don't trust the Kree, so we're going to put a spy there preemptively. I'm going to use this city for science. Hallelujah, we have wool. One of them we can work. One is under a volcano and can't be worked. And it's going to probably get destroyed a few times. We can chop out the cattle and get to work on the industrial zone here. Might try to get these shipyards done. That's going to be expensive, though. Other than selling luxuries. I'll get that three gold per turn back from her pretty fast. So I'll take all her raw gold. Nine turns, I can take this up to the boost and then start working on oil. Yes, it just flipped and we'll have it in six turns. We might get it quicker if we kill these units. They stabilize this. I want this city so bad. It keeps making trouble for me. I should maybe move the spy up there and get rid of the governor. I don't think I can stop his mission. Mally might take care of that barb camp for me. Some more coal over here. There's the boost for steel. Looks like I don't have to worry about that. I'll be able to chop out the shipyard actually. Save the money.
That's a free Curasar. Get our factory going here. Queue up our factory here. Just like that, there's no more Scythia. Gonna switch some governors. Gonna have to get to work if I'm gonna make a normal age.
be lining up to fascism now. I don't believe we are constructing any wonders as of yet, but that might change. Rafa could be a Ruhr city. So could potentially this jawcracker of a city. No, quite possibly right here. I can do the math later if I feel like it. I might stick Pangala into Victor City so I can free up Victor. Four turns, I will be able to make railroads. Send Eiffel down here for now. Might be able to coax this barb to stealing my builder, then I can get him out of my hair. I didn't lose that builder. I actually got a great scientist. I think I would have got that with Rur. There's something to be said for just going for it. So I won't get any help from Molly. Hopefully that's tempting enough for him. There's a builder and something to pillage. Come here. I will definitely keep you in your library. entertainment complex.
See, with the governor not active, we dropped from 50% from modifiers to 20. It's a huge boost with a captured city. Cannon army is a little scary. Feel dumb that I don't have my general up at the line. Oh, it was a gamble, but it worked out. Puts me in range of both of the cannons, but it'll get me a promotion. And I took two hits last time. We'll see what happens here. A coal power plant. Yes, we can do that. Just about made it there. There we go. Seven turns, I'm going to be able to connect two cities to get the boost with that. I think I get for having a factory, is it a coal plant? It's time for logistics. Going to be working on a wonder. This is going to be huge for us, actually. We need 12 more. We need 8 more. Refining is going to give us. We've already got that. We're going to get a general kill.
get the bill for both generals on this turn. Just for the one of them. So that's five more to go. Let's stick Victor in there. Five turns. But we'll see what we can do. I think taking this next city here would be the most logical choice. I think I might get some error score from this neighborhood. Just two more to go. I'll get one from refining. So kind of pulled another golden age out of our butts. Going to ask the Cree for open borders so I can get that railway built into their territory. that will do. I don't have to try anymore. I will do an archaeological museum here. are what's keeping us from attacking the city right now. Looks like I overshot on the military emergency.
Okay, let's see where we've got oil. Doesn't look like we've got any on our own lands here. Nine results on the whole map. Well, we might be able to do something about this. Two sources of land oil nearby. Let's get to work on a one-turn settler and a three-turn archaeologist. And let's get up to steel. Might want to just get our second neighborhood down. Could also get a water park down. We won't get a lot of bonuses from the actual mausoleum, but it will get me an extra charge on Eiffel. Finally get our commercial hub down here and finish off our build plan in Rapa Nui. Thought that would give us siege, but I was wrong, so I'm just going to move them back to the good side of the river for the next attack, which should help us take the city. We can form an army. We might actually use Napoleon on something. I'm going to Faith purchase uh, another line infantry. Lost a lot of population in that city for, but of course no damage because she's got environmental protection on. Might just settle just on the mine here. Should be able to do a little three district thing here. Just going to settle on the fissure. oil improved as fast as we can.
modern era. It's where we're going to put the cut in our video. I'm just curious to see if we're going to be fortunate enough that he's still in a golden age. He is not. He is in a dark. But that's okay. I think uh, we'll be able to handle him in a dark age. Looks like our good buddy Sundiata is the only one who continues to go golden on us. I think I will take two arms again because we're going to be pumping out a lot of military here very quickly. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.